Joining me now to respond, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, a Republican who is set to take over as the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee in the next Congress. He's also a member of the Budget and Foreign Relations Committees. Senator, good to see you tonight. Let me start with that. It must be so frustrating when you really, really want to have a vote on a measure that comes into the chamber, but the leadership don't just simply won't allow it. I'm sure you, as a current member of the minority, who's about to be a member of the majority, don't know anything about that. Harry Reid has never done that to you. Yeah, Megan, we have our frustrations as well, but we also have a constitution that has to be followed. Uh, Americans have to remember that President Obama promised the Hispanic community that he would solve immigration in his first year. In his first two years, he had filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. He controlled Washington. He didn't do it. So that ought to speak volumes to the fact that President Obama, by and large, doesn't want to solve the problem. He wants a political issue. And what's unfortunate about what he did tonight is it just makes it that much more difficult to find that common ground, to find the agreement, to solve the problem. Because I'm certainly a, a senator that voted no on that, the Senate bill because it didn't fix the problem. It How would have so? Allowed How so? Because he spent a lot of time on that. He says it's you guys. Pass a bill. Yeah. If you don't, putting aside the fact that that's really not how the system works, you know, you can't just ignore Congress. But, but let's, let's assume that he has the authority to do all of this. Why wouldn't you work with him? Why, why hasn't there been another push? for a new bill? Well, for, first of all, let me tell you, about the Senate bill, CBO evaluated that and said it would allow 70% of illegal immigration to continue. So it, it obviously didn't fix the problem. You know, regardless of what he has done here, I am going to use my chairmanship to, to first of all craft and then pass a very strong border security and enforcement bill. That is the first step in any immigration system that would actually work reform that would actually solve the problem. And so I'm dedicated to doing that. I've already reached out to other committee chairmen in both the House and the Senate. We're going to craft that bill over the next couple uh, months, hopefully hold hearings, get that thing passed, and, and then, then, then I will work with this president to finally solve the problem. But he has made it far more difficult because rather than find those areas of agreement, he picked a fight. It's a bad way to start a relationship. Mm -hmm. Even though he said you know, he wanted to work with Congress after uh, the midterm elections. Now, my question for you is, what else are you going to do? We had Senator Cruz on the program last night mm -hmm. who was talking about how he doesn't think the president should get an up or down vote on his nomination. Uh, unless it relates to homeland security, you know, I I important posts relating to our, um, our safety. Uh, but he doesn't think the president should get that up or down vote in the Senate. And he thinks that some appropriations bills uh, can be maneuvered. He thinks some sort of uh, riders can be put on appropriations to say not a single dollar should go to enforce your, your plan. Well, President Obama has exceeded his executive authority across the board in Obamacare and, of course, now in immigration. And, and now that we have a Republican majority in the Senate, we will be able to use the power of the purse, and we should do so. And the best way of doing that is pass a budget and then all 12 appropriation bills. And, Megan, here's a real key. We have to start with the higher priority appropriation bills in defense and then work our way down. And then by doing that, appropriation bills is the one area where the Senate and where Congress can actually prioritize spending. And we can defund areas of President Obama's lawlessness. And so we should do so. So we should use the power of the purse. We haven't been able to do that with Senator Harry Reid in, in the majority role because he's bundled all these appropriation bills into one bill. It ends up being a Hobson's choice, an up and down vote to shut down the entire government. Now we can do it on each individual agency and we'll have a far more, a greater leverage in those negotiations. Can you do it? Because the reporting earlier uh, from, from Ed Henry was that the president's supporters don't believe that the Republicans can stop this by messing with appropriations? It, it all depends. You know, it's hard to defund inaction. If President Obama simply refuses to act, I mean, how do you defund that? But where he is actually acting and where he's doing it without legal authority, I think we can. And not only in immigration, we can start doing it with Obamacare and other areas where he has exceeded his constitutional mandate of faithfully but executing the But how would you do laws. it? For example, you know, I would imagine if you're going to get a temporary work permit here, if you're an illegal immigrant who benefited tonight, somebody's got to process that. Someone's got to pay for right. it. So, there, I mean, so, people are actually going to have to work on this. Can you defund so, that effort? Yeah, so you can defund that office that's going to issue those permits. Or what you can say, not even that, that broad, you can just say no funds in this appropriation bill shall be used to issue those permits. Are you worried about the political rollback the on the Republicans if they do that? Not if it's very targeted, very limited. I mean, what are we talking about? Maybe uh, denying a couple million dollars worth of spending, issuing those permits? No, this is not threatening government shutdown or anything drastic. This is just very targeted at the 
you know, those actions where he's is exceeded his legal and you know the president authority. and his defenders are going to say you you're tearing apart families. We're trying to help parents of children who are allowed no, to stay it, here. It is President Obama that is not really interested in a solution. He's interested in a political issue. We want to solve the problem. And the only way you do that is you first have to secure the border. Once you've done that, then the American public will have the confidence. And you won't be insulting the, the rule of law. You won't be ins insulting those immigrants that came here and followed yeah. the law. Senator Johnson, good to see you, sir. Have a great night. You too. President Obama.